How many can feel the Holy Ghost just kind of coming over the building? You're so glad about Jesus. Yes. How many's glad about Jesus? How many's glad just about what He's doing in our life? We go through a lot of things in this life. Yes, we do. But as she sang that song, it blessed my heart. Oh, yes. It's going to be hard when I get there and realize that I'm there. Right. Oh, Jesus. Like the dream of Mary Catherine. Yeah. I made it. I made it, Brother Ben. She said, I made it. We realize that we're there. Yes. And we hear him say, well done. Every right. man. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be hard to hold back the tears when he says that to me. Yes. Because I, I know that it's by his mercy and grace yes. that he's able to say that. Yes. Hallelujah. Because, you know, we're all human. We all, we're all uh, 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 prone to failure. But I'm glad he's there to pick us up. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. And, and give us a fresh Lift me up again. Aren't you glad about that? Yeah. Amen. If he was like man, we wouldn't stand a chance. No. That's right. We really wouldn't. I've said this many a time, but I'll say it again. I was up at Michigan City visiting my brother. And uh, he, had a, he had a hard life. He was in prison almost all of his life, in and out, and, and different things. And, and uh, a, lot, a lot of it was caused by medical problem. I mean, it's hard to I could explain it, but I won't. And as I was leaving that day, I looked at the bulkhead, like, kind of like this. It was, it was a saying up there. It said, failure is not falling down. down. Failure is staying, staying down. down. Right, right. right. Come on. Yeah. You know, I visited him. <laughs> you know, I visited him too. I visited him too one time. Oh, did you? Yes, okay. I did. Did, you ever, did you ever notice that? That on the bulkhead as you come? I, I, I really did, honestly. But I'll tell you one thing I did notice. When I went to see him, you get, a, you get a picture in your mind of what someone is. And he was in there for a very heinous thing. Yes, he was. And I was looking for some kind of a monster. And he was a pretty nice little old guy. He really wasn't a monster at all. And it just perplexed me. I thought, what, you know, how, how, how do we get in such a shape that he's in there like that? Yes. Mm -hmm. A medical problem caused it all that. They found out later. But still, nevertheless, he, he needed to, to be in a place yeah, where the they, Christ, he could be observed. Yeah. Right. Uh, and I love my brother. Yeah. I, I didn't trust him a whole lot around my wife or children. And that's sad to have to say that, but it's the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I'm so glad to know that uh, that uh, he accepted Christ and uh, he had to work it out himself. That's right. Absolutely. I couldn't do it for him. No. I, right. You got to walk like I walk. No, no. You no. do it. You work it out for yourself. Right. Come on. Yeah, because know. this is a different that's world right. inside yeah. the walls. That's right. Yeah. Anybody that's never been there knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, sir. I've been there a couple times. Amen. So I know what it is. <laughs> you know, but you know what? You can keep your integrity with God. Right. And you can walk right on and hold, in, hold up a standard right. and they can see it. And then you see them that got the Bible under their arm and they're trutting around and they're trying to get make a make some points with the officers and the guards. And, you know, I'm thinking maybe I'll get out of here a little early. Nah, it don't work. I <laughs> just love Jesus and and uh, and I will say, you know what, you don't realize how important your testimony is, but I, I can remember walking by they had Bible studies in there. You see a group of guys getting together and, and this one guy he knew everything, okay? And he was he was leading it. But he really didn't know anything. He thought he did. <laughs> Bless his heart, he was trying his best. And and uh, I, I kind of, you know, my ears kind of perked up and I listened to him for a little bit. And I said, no, that ain't what that means. I said, let me tell you what that means. And I, I'd go ahead and explain it a little bit and I'd go on my way. And, and uh, before it was all over, there was one man who was in there for murder and said he gave his heart to the Lord because of my testimony. And I can't imagine that because me and him had a still out on the hill down in Kentucky. Uh, <laughs> no, it's in Indiana. And, uh, I mean, we had a brew going. And we'd sneak out there and get a little nip every now and then. And, and we, we smoked. We did all the things yeah, sinners do. But he said, my testimony. Can you imagine that? The power that's in your testimony. Yes. Come on, they know you ain't perfect. They already found that out. Right. Listen, they're looking for something. Right. Yeah. Something to believe in. That's the truth. And they, this man shot a man 21 times. 
because he was beating his mother with tar. Oh my! And he would have got out of it except for one thing: overkill. Overkill. Mm -hmm. Overkill. Yeah. <laughs> if he'd have shot him once or twice and killed him, he probably got out of it. A manslaughter and got you know, but and he was he was really a nice guy, and I, I really learned to love him. Anyway, give me a. a, a looks like a. Looks like it's written in G. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, oh, oh. I love G. Written in G. The California got a big G. I'm yeah, we got a fanciful story about that. We'll get into that. Oh.